guys, what's going on? It's your humble Picasso here. Thanks for joining in another video. Today, folks, we are looking more at the customization options on Android. So today I have an app review, and this app is pretty cool. It's very close to my dream app when it comes to customizing uh, my devices. Now it is called, I actually don't remember the name of the app and I don't have labels on my home screen. It is Icon Pack Studio, Gradient Azure. Okay, so these are what the stock icons look like for that theme. I am using Action Launcher 3, so basically I can go in here, go into the settings, go into display, icon pack, and then I can change the icon packs and I will do so to bolt. And I'll change that, hit OK, go back and back. It's going to update, let it do its thing and let it do its thing it's still updating and there we go i'm rocking a different icon pack basically icon pack studio gives you the ability to create your own icons now they're out of 100 i give it a 75 because at least it's really close to what i want to do so let's go ahead and just dive in it gives you the option again to basically create your own icons of course there's you know there could be a lot more customizations but for what it does right now guys i'm very pleased with it let's go ahead and dive in so you see i've been fooling around with it a little bit so i do have some stuff there but what we're going to go ahead and do is start right from the bat Okay, we're going to start right up from the ground and we're going to work our way up. So let's go ahead and hit the plus. Now, you have a few options. You can go ahead and make your icon shape, okay, obviously. You can go square, uh, rounded square, rectangle, rounded rectangle, landscape, portrait, hexagons, and so on, and octagon, etc., etc. So if you want to go, let's just go with circle. You know, it is one of my favorite uh, shapes for the icons is definitely circle background. So we're going to go ahead circle. We can hit next. Then now here we have the background. The orange is just the uh, presetted color. You can go ahead and make the background black. You can make it magenta, I believe that is, blue, whatever the case may be. Okay, and now if you look right here, it says color source, it's on custom. So you have three options. You have custom, which you choose the color. You have wallpaper and app color. Now app color, basically what it's going to do is, as you see here, it shows you how it works. So for Facebook, it's blue, Hangouts, uh, green, Gmail, kind of orange, just reddish, and keep yellow. So that's going to be based on the color of the application that you, uh, uh, what the application is. There is a base color for every application stock and the background will be based on that. And then you have wallpaper. Now wallpaper basically is showing how it works. You have a wallpaper on your lock, on your home screen, and then it picks all the colors from that, and some of the icons will be based on that color, okay? Now, for this one, let's just go with custom, because I do like kind of keeping it. Uh, let's see here, you know what? Let's go with the wallpaper. Let's go with wallpaper. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. Then we have the stroke, which is basically an outline around your icon. If you don't want any, you don't have to. If you want it ridiculously thick, you can go ahead and do that. But I preferably like about, yeah, about a three, four, or five. Anywhere between three, four, and five, I'm good with that. And of course, you can make the stroke any color you want. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as white. And we'll go ahead and hit next. Now we have the logo, and this is basically the icon, the icon logo. Okay, so for Facebook, it wouldn't be this little chameleon, it would be Facebook. And then you can go ahead and choose the color, and uh, again, you can actually switch that to wallpaper as well, but since I have the background as wallpaper, I'm going to go ahead and leave that as white. And you can make the icon as large as you want, or as small as you want, or no icon. But uh, I believe that, you know, it makes sense to have an icon in there, so you know what the application is. I'm going to put it to about 50. There we go. I'm going to hit next. Now we have some special effects. Okay, so this is the gloss effect. It adds a little gloss there. And uh, later on, I'm gonna leave this blank for now. And you do have, of course, shadow and gloss and then that. So you can really design up your icon. But I'm gonna leave that uh, until the end where we can actually go in and really fine tune it. And hit next. And then basically you can name it. I'm just going to name it, uh, you know what? YouTube Show Circle. Okay. The name probably doesn't make any sense, but whatever, guys. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So we hit, this is what it's basically look like, and we hit that, and here we go. You see the wallpaper, and you see the applications. Okay, so you see what basically the color, how it's going to look. But we can go back, and we can do a little bit more. So background again, you can resize it, shape, fill. So we can change it from the wallpaper right here, and then you can 
change the transparency of it as well so if we put it to zero and then we hit there you see there is actually no background so that's another neat little thing right there and you bring it back up and you take a look at the preview and that's basically how it is right there okay so very cool there's a lot of things you can do here I'm gonna put it back up to back up to 100 I'm going to go ahead and select that now we go over to the logo and again here's the stroke the long shadow shadow transform stroke, etc etc so if we want to go ahead and change uh, the logo what about on logo yeah so if you want to go ahead and change the logo you can change it and then here you can have it as text so instead of uh, uh, the logo itself it'll basically give you the um, I'm assuming the first Instagram I believe Royal Bank uh, maybe Google but you see what it is it gives you the letter options for it uh, which would be a little bit harder if you don't know oh there we go so if you have it really small okay there we go so you can actually bring it up to where you you are able to see everything and if you go to preview it will have the name but of course you see that it's very hard to read so that would not make sense at all unless all your applications is just a one-word app then see just like that kick and oh, uh, screw blah 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 okay so I'm gonna stick with the logo and put a stroke around the actual if you see right there let me go ahead and make this yellow so you see right there you can put a stroke around the icon so you can make it actually have its own stroke as well which you couldn't do that before but here in this screen you are able to do so all right let's that and uh, yeah so I do have some ideas here it's just coming into my head now that, now that I'm actually in here and uh, doing a little bit more stuff now transform not sure what this is I haven't messed with transform so let's see what it is that's just the size okay no you got to go back to 50 there we go and then this now okay so you can move it to a side if you don't want it directly in the center okay there we go that makes sense and vertical and horizontal so you are able to move it vertically horizontally etc etc but there you go it is based on your wallpapers I don't like that color that kind of grayish color it's kind of hard to see the icons there are three that you can purchase but we do have the ambient light where you are able to you know shine a little bit of ambient light on it I'm just gonna leave that and then you have the shadow don't need the shadow let's take off the shadow and no I don't want the shadow off there we go okay and glossy light that's what that is okay no I don't need that weight you can what can you put it on don't want that there okay so as you see here I mean there's lots of stuff to play around with really um, it's just up to you to go in there okay I don't like RBC looking like that I, I want RBC to be in a different um, you, you guys see what I'm talking about. There's a lot of things you can do in here um, just to kind of play around, really make the icon pack your own. Okay, so let's see here. Now, this is that always kind of messes me up. So, I believe you save first, save as new, hit OK, and then there's unnamed. All right, and then I'm going to name it uh, exactly what I named before YouTube Show circle let's go ahead and name it that turn that off I'm gonna hit save and then you hit the check mark and then now it tells you they're converting if you look in the oh that messed up but there yeah, if you look in the top you'll see your icon pack is ready tap to install it you go ahead and install it and then app installed exported icon pack studio that's what it's going to be under so now if we come out of all of this uh, actually let's go back in so there you see it right there uh, YouTube show circle or YT show circle that's it right there okay if you want to go ahead and re-edit it you just simply tap on it let's exit and now let's go to it's going to be in here under exported icon pack studio there's the icon pack okay so let's go ahead and whatever launcher you have as long as you're able to switch to third-party icons you'll be able to do this icon pack again it's hard to maneuver because I'm behind the camera we're gonna hit exported icon pack studio we're gonna hit ok and we're gonna go back we're gonna let it update and there we go we have our icons there we go now for the background on this let's see quick thing uh, 
uh, it's on wallpaper am I able to change the transparency I'm not that's one reason why I like Nova Launcher a little bit better because you are able to no that's way too no 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 you're able to change the transparency of your wallpaper and for some reason you're not able to do that uh, in in a on blah, 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 in on action launcher which I'm not a big fan of not a big fan of that at all uh, you should be able to change the transparency of your wallpaper of your app drawer but there you go you do have the icons you can make it any way you want and it's just like that now the next thing is when installing a new application you're gonna get a notification telling you that uh, uh, the exported icon pack or icon pack studio needs to be uh, refreshed to allow the new app the new uh, app icon to um, go into it basically okay so just keep that in mind so lots of things you can do in here guys it's really awesome let's you know what let's just quickly I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna just quickly make a new icon pack just very quickly just something different um, not you just 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 hang on all right here we go Okay, so I just found out this guys when picking you see this little drop tool right here You can actually tap on that some of you guys have probably seen that and just wondering like uh, why I didn't see it But you are able to use this to actually pick the background color of the icons you want and we're gonna go ahead and use that pretty awesome and uh, back to it And there you have it guys I'm very pleased with that that looks pretty amazing to me honestly I'm gonna go ahead and save it I'm going to save as new I'm going to call it uh, black black rect black rect icons uh, let's go ahead and save that let's go ahead and export it and again you can look up there in the top and you can see it exporting the icon pack okay and then of course tap to install it's going to replace the one that we did before okay so we let it do its thing there it is we're gonna go ahead and hit done and we can just exit out of this that's cool I'm, I actually like that one a lot guys I like that one a lot um, so let's go ahead Sorry for moving around, I was just literally on the right side of the camera just now and I just moved around a little bit to the left side. Now I'm going to try to be directly behind it, but of course the stand is in my face. So it makes it a little bit hard. I do need a better camera setup. I do have something that I am working on of course. So here we go. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. I'm going to have to give it a clap. Have to give it a clap. I like how that looks. That looks awesome to me and let's bring it up. Oh yeah, that looks cool that looks cool oh my gosh I'm actually very pleased with that now the on top of that background though it is a little bit drab so I'm going to I might just have to put it back to dark muted um, I feel like that just might be so at least it stands out a little bit now notice action launcher 3 settings that did not change don't know why but um, again in your app drawer it does help if you do have the labels on it's just on my desktop I don't have any lab labels on 
That looks good, guys. That looks really good. I like that. I really like that. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, somewhat long video. It went a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but this is how I do things. I get in there, I learn new things, and I show you guys things. And basically, you know me. I show you guys what I love. So, as always, your humble Picasso, guys. Leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out. Be sure to turn on notifications so you're one of the first to see the videos as they go live, guys. That's going to be it.